Bob Flaherty, the electric principal, also known as Principal Bob. And I am driving a 2023 ID4 right now in one of my favorite places in Fort Collins, which is the Horse Tooth Reservoir. And uh, hey, we are about ready to look at some new software. Uh, so, you know, the software issues with uh, Volkswagens are well known. Uh, when the software first came out, uh, it was a little slow, a little clunky, uh, didn't work all that great. It took uh, a long time for them to develop 3.1 and the uh, 22s ended up getting that uh, at, towards the end of the year. Uh, and so the new ones had that particular software, which was a vast improvement. Lots of nice features that I really enjoyed. Uh, and probably the most important one to me was uh, all of the information it gave me about how much energy I was using since I started my trip or since I last charged or total uh, since I reset the uh, odometer. And so I, I really enjoyed all of that. And the other thing that happened is that the uh, software became a little snappier. Well, you know, because things were coming out so slowly and not as advertised, mainly there was nothing uh, like uh, over-the-air updates to make these changes, uh, VW ended up uh, uh, changing its entire software department out, uh, and well, they should have. Uh, and so uh, what ended up happening was that if you had the old software and wanted 3.1, you, you need to get an update, and that has to be done at the store. Uh, and, you know, part of the reason for why it takes so long is because they were also checking batteries to make sure the batteries were good. Well, let's fast forward just a couple of months now down the road. And now we have software update 3.5 that's now available. Uh, and all new cars coming out of Chattanooga uh, have that software. And uh, what's happening is if someone's getting an update on the software uh, because they still have the... 2021 version of the software well they're getting 3.5 now so they're getting the latest greatest and it's nice to see VW increasing the speed now uh, this software is not uh, coming out quickly like Tesla software does or Ford software does it's still not good enough in my mind uh, to what we need to do uh, and I know that software 4.0 is going to be released uh, with the new 24s when they come out and the ID7. But we've seen some improvement. And, you know, I've told people uh, for a long time when they come in and ask me about VW, software was not our strength. It never was our strength. We built really solid cars uh, uh, with the body panels that fit. Uh, and after a few hiccups when the Chattanooga plant opened up, uh, we've been putting out some pretty good cars. Uh, very good cars, uh, particularly the last uh, four or five months. Uh, vast improvement uh, in the cars because you know it was a, it was a complex task. You know we're going to open up a new factory, hire a thousand new workers, and on top of that, we were going to get all new suppliers for every part because we're trying to meet uh, the North American standard uh, in order for everyone who would qualify financially to get the seven thousand five hundred tax credit. Uh, so we accomplished all that. Uh, we are gone beyond the hiccups and now we've got 3.5 software ready to go. So uh, at this point, I'm going to thank you again for joining the channel and I hope you take the time to subscribe. But I'm going to go right now and we're going to just kind of time warp right back to the dealership and we are going to take a look at these new improvements and 3.5 and I think one of the improvements that I'm, I'm not going to be able to show you necessarily is that the software again is improved in speed. Hey are we quite there yet with software? Are we Have we get the, uh, any right to claim at all that we've got some of the best software in the industry? No. But I drive an ID4 uh, and it just happens to have software uh, and the software works really well and gets the job done and uh, I will reiterate almost every customer I have ever worked with that will tell you the same thing. The software works just fine. Uh, they're not in the car uh, to have uh, uh, the best software in the world. They're in it to have a car that's comfortable, quiet, does everything really well, 
uh, gets them from point A to Z very efficiently uh, and puts a smile on their face. And that VW has accomplished. So I'm back at the dealership right now and we're gonna talk a little bit about 3.1 to 3.5. Most of those differences are very subtle. It's not worth going to your dealership and saying, get me 3.5, it, it just isn't. 3.1 had uh, a, a lot of positive changes. Uh, 4.0 will have even more. Obviously, when you have a full numeral change in software, that's a big deal. But let's start off by showing you how this would work in terms of uh, the navigation. I have the nav screen here. If I push navigation, all I have to do is give uh, give a voice command and I can get directions to somewhere uh, and it will put in the charging stations for me. If I click down here in the lower left hand corner, I want charging stations and I've got it set up right now for 50 kilowatts or more. Sure, I'd like more, but you know, sometimes that's all you can find. Uh, so I've got that on here. I've got Electrify America to keep this simple. Uh, and so let's see how this works driving directions to Colorado Springs, Colorado. Okay, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Drive safely. So I've, I've given it the instructions. It's gonna calculate the route. Um, you know, I could pop on the map here. What's nice about this now is it, uh, it gives me a little outline of my range because I haven't got that much range in this car, only about 42 miles. Uh, but what it's going to do then is it's going to tell me, okay, where are those charge stops? Where am I going to, where am I going to be? And, and uh, when I look at the map, it's going to show me that I'm going to need to stop at Electrify America. Uh, and I'm going to have to stop at the one that's very close. Uh, and uh, that one happens to be in Loveland. Uh, and it's going to take me there to charge because I really only have 42 miles with a charge. So it's going to take me there and away we go. Uh, and so now I've got turn by turn directions. I'd have my charging stops here. Hey, that's pretty simple and it works. Um, it's not as neat and clean as other cars. And I, you know what, to be honest, I still use PlugShare because PlugShare, uh, I think is still the best software that, that, uh, requires you to do some thinking. Uh, and it's easy to use and I love it because it's the most up-to-date software in terms of what's really happening at that charging station. But this will work, especially for Electrify America. So let's spend a little bit of time now talking about charging. Uh, you know, when the VW came out with the first version of the software, setting times for charging during the day did not work very well. You know, the car would charge halfway where it was supposed to be and then it would stop. Uh, it was irritating. But it gave you a little feature where you could charge the car, have it ready by 7 a.m., and the car would be heated. I like that. Then when the next set of software came out, the advances came out, uh, they took that out. You'd have, to, you'd have to set the charger time, and then you'd have to set that you wanted the car to heat up. Well, in 3.1, we've, we've solved that, as well as 3.5. How does that work? Well, we've got the charging menu here. Let's put in a location. I'm going to add uh, Ed Carroll Volkswagen in here because that's where I'm sitting. And I'm gonna tell it that I want this car to be ready at eight o'clock in the morning uh, when we open up, uh, Monday through Friday, and I want it charged and ready to go every single day to 80%. So I've got that set, got the location. Now when I go back to the charge menu, what's really nice about this is, uh, it's gonna give me some choices here. I can immediately charge the car, I can charge it until the departure time. In other words, it won't start tar charging till like 1 or 2 a.m. Uh, great when you have uh, uh, time of use uh, limitations and they charge you more. Well, if you start charging at 1 a.m., no one's gonna care. You're gonna pay the base rate and that's a good thing. Or better yet, I can say charge climate control uh, until departure. So it'll start charging at maybe 1 a.m., but more importantly, at 8 a.m. when I'm ready to go, the car's warm. And this is another nice little feature, a little update from the original software. When this car first came out, you had this option, but it never worked. Uh, the car would only charge for a couple hours, and then it would stop, uh, and you'd never get a full charge. Well, that's all been straightened out by 3.1. That is taken care of. 
and they brought back this choice. That choice was eliminated for a while because it just wasn't working right. Well, once again, software marches on, it improves. And now you can have it so that the car is fully charged and the car is warm when you get up and you're ready ready to go. And I really like this feature. It's, a, it's very popular with customers and I use it myself all the time at home. So once again, thanks for coming along. Uh, thanks for watching my channel. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on 4.0 software, which will be a major change. I am hoping at that time that we have over-the-air updates. Uh, that's what I'm hoping, that we really get that uh, uh, coming through. The ID7 is going to be released in January, February of, of next year. It's going to have the latest, greatest software and, and some, some very nice feature additions to that software. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and many of those software updates, of course, will be able to be applied to 23s because, hey, that's the nature of these cars. It's software, so things can be improved over time. And those improvements can can go right down the range to 23s, 22s, and even 21s. Yeah.